Okay, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough of Conversely. Now, I'm gonna start right here in the dashboard. Here you can see the total number of visitors and also the visitors that have returned. Uh, you can also see new visitors that have come in. And then here you can see how it's kind of graphed out so you can just kind of get a visual of it. Right here you can see the geographical location that your visitors are coming from. And then of course you can see the subscribers and you can also see the online users. So who's on your website at the moment? We see 13 and then subscribers we see one. So that shows you a little bit of the dashboard. I'm gonna go into campaign settings and we're gonna start here at general. Now. The first thing you want to do is fill out your campaign name. I've already pre-filled this as just my name, Kimberly. And then you choose a subdomain. And of course, this does need to be, you know, its own name because this is actually going to turn into the URL where you would direct people to get into your, into your windows. Uh, okay, so then you can select your company size, the country, and the time zone. And then you just save and continue. Now this is the window that if, the, if you were to give them you, the URL there that I showed you just a moment ago, this is where you would send them to get to the chat. So you can see it says Kimberly.conversely.io and that's how they would get to this chat window. So that's why you want to make sure that you choose what you want to go in there uniquely. It does need to be unique. Okay, so let's go into the chat settings here. So this is where you can select what you want the welcome message to say. So I've just got welcome to Kimberly's community, chat with other page visitors and administrators about the offer presented on this page. That will actually pop up in the welcome message. I'll show you that in a moment. Here you can select how long you want that to delay. If you want, once somebody lands on your page, how many seconds do you want that to delay before it pops in? And then here you can select whether or not you want to, the message only to appear for the first time, if you want notification sound on, or you can disable it. Chat notification sound is next. You can also disable that or keep it enabled. And then powered by Conversely, the branding, you can have that on or you can, um, you can have it not on. <laughs> so I'm going to show it right here. This is the welcome message that we see right here on my page. And there you can see it right there. There is a little bit of a delay. So when somebody lands on that page, then they are going to get the notification sound and they're going to get that welcome message just a couple seconds delayed. I think I got it set to four seconds or something. Okay, so here's the appearance. Now you can choose icons that are going to be displayed to your visitors. So you can make this kind of unique to how you want it to look with these different type of icons. Just select the icon that you want. Then you can change the color. You can have a primary color, secondary color, and then the color of your text. So you can customize that as you wish. Really beautiful there. All right, into the team members, we're gonna go over to manage team. Now this is where if you have other people that you want to manage this for you, you can do that. So you're gonna put in the email address of like your support staff, for example, and then the type of access that they get. They can either have full access or they can have restricted access. Okay, the difference here between the full access and the restricted access is that if they're on restricted access, they will not be able to create new channels. Coming over here to the autoresponder, I have actually connected my AWeber to this and I've selected my list. But if you look here, you can see all of these different autoresponders you can connect in to Conversely. And then we're over to publish. So this is how quickly you can go through this. You just grab this code right here and you're gonna stick it right after the opening body tag. And that's going to enable Conversely on your site. Now here you can, you can select an iframe embed code or install on Facebook. Now this feature install on Facebook is available in the upgrade, okay, in the pro version. So keep that in mind. And then use direct link you can also enable here where that's just going to, you know, you just copy and paste this link and that'll open up this window here. So we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take you through Conversely so you can see actually how to use it. Uh, right here, we're going to start looking right here from the dashboard. You can see there's community chat, subscriber, and settings. I've already explained settings. If you want to watch that, you can go ahead and go back. And here's uh, subscribers. And then right now, we're going to go into community chat. So inside community chat, this is what it looks like from the admin perspective. Now, you can see we can go into channels. This is where we would actually create a channel. You'd enter your channel name and your channel description and then click save. It's as simple as that. Now, you can either chat with people in one of these channels or you can chat with them individually. So if you want to chat with them individually, you can do so here. You would just type a message and send that to that individual. 
If you want to type to them in the chat, in the, in the channel itself, then you just go here to the channel itself. Now the great part about this is that you can actually talk to people individually, get their individual attention, they've got your undivided attention, and they can really get the, the attention that they need from you at that time. The other great thing as an admin is that if somebody is typing to you, you can actually see what they're typing before they click send. So the system actually captures that. You'll be able to see what they're typing so you can anticipate your message that you're going to respond with, which really makes it really friendly as an admin. Okay, next I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to show you this from the customer's perspective or the client's perspective. So this is what they're going to be seeing. You can see that there's an admin in there, there's one. You can see that there's a couple of different channels that as a customer, if I'm a customer here, I can go ahead and select. And then I can also see the members that are in the room. Now, important to note, I'm not gonna be able to talk as a customer to other members in the room. But what I can do is I can talk to the admin. So I can go ahead and select the admin and I can go ahead and talk right here to the admin. Just type my, type my message here. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this as if I, I, as a customer, was sent the direct link option. I would land at this window here and I would be able to see that there are a couple of different channels to join. I've got affiliates, delivery options, or product features. And I can see that there's an admin. There's one admin here, that's Danny. And then I can also see that there are 40 members that are currently on this, uh, on this channel. Now, if I want to talk to the admin, that's not a problem. I can go ahead and talk to the admin just straight away right here. Now, if on the other hand, I want to go in and get access to these channels to be able to go in and chat in there, I do need to sign up as a customer. So either, either sign in or I sign up. If I haven't signed in uh, up yet, I need to go ahead and do that. I'm going to enter a username, email, and password. And this, for everyone using this as an admin, this is really powerful because this is really a great way to build your list. So you're actually getting their email address when they sign up for being able to talk into the channels. And now let's go into subscribers. So right here you can just see, you can see their first name, email ID, last seen, which is when they last saw the message, and when they signed up in the city that they're signing up from. Pretty straightforward. Now in this section you can also go to action messages. Okay, and these broadcast messages actually appear above the icon. They're in, on the page. So anybody who's on the page, when you send out this broadcast, they're going to see that right above the icon there on the front page. So the way that you would want to use this is to actually prompt people to go into the chat. So this appears above the icon. You can then prompt people to go into the chat. You can also send a broadcast mail. Now you can either do that when you link up with your autoresponder, or you can do that through Conversely itself. So in the broadcast email, you can just go ahead and send a broadcast out. You just put in the name of your broadcast, your name, email, all of that information, and you do need to make sure that you can configure your SMTP in order to use this. But this is way, the way you can send the email right through Conversely. Now a couple of other features that we have coming are the pinned message. Now that's available in the pro version. That will be available in the pro version. And that's where you can actually just select and have a, have a message that's pinned to the top. So when somebody comes in, you can just have that message pinned and they'll see that at the top at all times. Now another one um, that's coming in the pro version is a profanity filter. And this makes it so that you can block certain words, certain profane words or whatever words you want to block so that they're not able to be put into the window. Now another feature that's coming on the front end version is to be able to save canned responses. So if you have certain responses you get a lot or certain questions that you get a lot of uh, questions for and you want to create some canned responses that will be able to easily just stick into the window uh, that is coming in the front-end version. And that concludes this demo of the walkthrough of Conversely.